Hello for everyone. Today our topics pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease. <clears throat> a group of independent inflammatory nosological forms in the upper parts of the female reproductive tract, which can include any combinations of endometritis, salpingitis, parametritis, ophoritis, tuber ovarian abscess, pelvic peritonitis. Pelvic inflammatory disease is a leading cause of infertility, chronic pelvic pain, and ectopic pregnancy. If you will not treat pelvic infl in acute form pelvic inflammatory disease. Epidemiology. Women with pelvic inflammatory disease make up 60-65% of outpatient gynecological patients and up to 30% hospitalized. Most at risk of pelvic inflammatory disease are sexually active women under 25 years. Over the past 10 years, according to World Health Organization, the number of women aged 20-24 years diagnosed with pelvic inflammatory disease increased by 1.5 times. Sexual transmission pathogens, the causes of inflammation can be sexual transmission pathogens. Chlamydia trachomatis, Neisseria gonorrhea, Mycoplasma genitalium. Most of these are chlamydia and the gonococcus. If these bacteria, as a result of infection, enter the female genital tract, then the acid environment of the vagina does not suit them, and they do their best to get into the pipes where the environment is more suitable. In addition, there is a cylindrical epithelium in which chlamydia can live. These pathogenic bacteria are armed with a sufficient arsenal of tools to fight off the immune system. However, inflammation in the appendage can be caused not only by the listed microorganisms. A facultative uh, aerobic bacteria, Escherichia coli, Gardnerella vaginalis, Haemophilus, Haemophilus influenza, Streptococcus staphylococcus. In most cases, pelvic inflammatory disease are associated with more than with one pathogen. Here you see yes, gonococcal virulence factor ribosomal protein L12 is believed to be responsible for ascending gonorrhea in women. Cellular peptidoglycans provide resistant membranes of gonococcus to bacteria, uh, bactericidal drugs. Discharge frequency. Neisseria gonorrhea with pelvic inflammatory disease varies from 11 before 9 to 8%. Every discharge frequency with pelvic inflammatory disease ranges from 1.2 before 44%. In chlamydia trachomatis, in Mycoplasma genitalium, evidence for a rule in the etiology of cervicitis and endometritis in women. Microbiological examination um, of 188 women with pelvic inflammatory disease. Uh, goal determination of the etiological structure of pelvic inflammatory disease, pathogens, there are not sexual transmission infection pathogens. Research material we take um, discharge from the cervical canal, aspirate from the uterine cavity, aspirate at a puncture of the lugular space and the intraoperative materials. Microbial growth was absent in 112 samples. Uh, which kind of causes of which kind of bacteria is um, much most of yes. Um, enterobacteria Escherichia coli, 35%, uh, 35.9%. Then next stage, um, Streptococcus and the <clears throat> anaerob uh, anaerobacteria, um, to 20.2%. Uh, then Enterococcus, Fessalis, uh, 11.4, and the next, in the last place, 10.5% Staphylococcus. Etiology. Accurate identification of pelvic inflammatory disease pathogens is difficult. 
in order to determine the causative agent of pelvic inflammatory disease, material for research is obtained only by surgery. The flora of the vagina and the cervical canal does not accurately reflect the composition of the pathogens of pelvic inflammatory disease. In one tree of cases, no microorganisms can be isolated from the cervical canal. The culture matters takes time is not suitable for detecting chlamydia and anaerobes. The results of serological uh, <clears throat> uh, is a polymerase uh, chain reaction in the diagnosis of pelvic inflammatory disease are interpreted ambiguously. An overestimated diagnostic estimate is often just fee. Since an incorrect diagnosis and insufficient therapy can lead to serious consequence. Pathogenesis of pelvic inflammatory disease. Due to sexual behavior, young age, early onset of a sexual active life, having multiple sex partners, new appearance sexual partners after three months, history of sexual transmission infections in the patient or her partners, caused by instrumental inversions in the uterine cavity, damage to the cervical barrier, abortion, intrauterine contraceptive, administration within the previous six weeks, high stress halfingography, blood fertilization procedure in vitro, and the intrauterine insemination. Normally, the microorganisms of the vaginal and the cervix prevention of the <clears throat> penetration of pathogenic and opportunistic bacteria into the uterine cavity and the lumen of the fallopian tubes. Here you see yeah, sexual um, transmitted infections, Neisseria gonorrhea, chlamydia trachomatis, genitalium. Uh, we talk about it uh, previous. <clears throat> called most often the sarcholamidia and the gonococcus, those bacteria, the results of infection enter the female genital tract, then the acid environment of the vagina does not suit them, and they do their best to get into the purpose. Where the environment is more suitable, in addition, there is a cylindrical epithelium in which chlamydia can live. Live. These pathogenic bacteria are armed with a sufficient arsenal of tools to fight off their immune system. However, inflammation in the appendix can be caused not only by the listed microorganisms. Hey, predisposed, uh, predisposing factors. There are many predisposing factors. We will talk um, at last about factors. Diagnostic problems of pelvic inflammatory disease. High recurrent. Mild to moderate pelvic inflammatory disease with clinical manifestation. So clinical cause of pelvic inflammatory disease. In 60% of patients with pelvic inflammatory disease, there are no clinical manifestation of the disease. Diagnosis of pelvic inflammatory disease. For acute pelvic inflammatory disease, the following complaints are characteristics. Lower abdominal pain, bilateral deep dyspareunorrhea, Bleeding intramenstrual and postcoital can also be secondary associated with cervicitis and endometritis, vaginal discharge. Objective clinical picture, pathological discharge from the cervix, soreness of the cervix with bimanual discharge, soreness in the area of the appendage, fever more than 38 degrees of Celsius. Additional methods. Laboratory indicators in blood, leukocytes, increase it and uh, <clears throat> increase it, and the cervic reactive protein, C -re uh, reactive protein in a smear of vaginal contents, leukocytes. If you suspect pelvic inflammatory disease, a gonococcal test should be done and the chlamydial infections, laparoscopy, transvaginal ultrasound, graphic examination, MRI. Diagnosis, minimum tenderness to palpation in the lower abdomen, soreness in the area of the appendix, painful traction of the cervix, additional temperature more than 38 degrees of Celsius, leukocytes more than 10, increased erythrocytes, 
accelerate a rate of uh, sed sedimentation and a C-reactive protein, pathological discharge from the vagina or cervix, laboratory confirmation of cervical infections, nisiri gonorrhea or chlamydia, trahomatis, the defining, histological detect detection or endometritis on endometrial biopsy, sonographic and bimanual confirmation of inflammatory tuba ovarian mass, laparoscopic pictures of pelvic inflammatory disease, complications. If we will not treat acute uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, it can lead to chronic and at last tubal infertility. World Health Organization believes that the lack of timely therapy for pelvic inflammatory disease is a cause of tubal infertility in 55 for 85% of cases. Ectopic pregnancy. Postponed pelvic inflammatory disease increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy by 7 10 times. Chronic pelvic pain, tuba ovarian abscess, pelvic peritonitis, perihepatitis. Complications, asymptomatic untreated infection lead to defeat of the upper genital tract and the development of pelvic inflammatory disease. It can lead to fibrosis, scarring, and the tubal obstruction. Obstruction lead to serious reproductive disorders, tubal, tubal infertility, ectopic pregnancy, chronic pelvic pain syndrome. Complications, influence Chlamydia trachomatis and the mycoplasma genitalium and the mucous membrane of the fallopian tubes. Here you see a normal slated epithelium of fallopian tubes mucosa. Here, lesion of the mucous membrane of the fallopian tubes. Chlamydia trachomatis. Here, mycoplasma genitalium. Complications. Ectopic pregnancy is multiplied for six. Tubal infertility multiplied for one. 14, chronic pelvic pain multiplied 10, hysterectomy 8, gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is the oldest bacterial infection that is transmitted by sexual contact. The bacterium that causes gonorrhea requires very specific conditions for growth and the reproduction. If serious only on most surface between the body and the found most commonly in the vagina and the cervix. It can also live in the tube urethra, through which urine, uh, urine drains from the bladder. It cannot live outside the body for longer than a few minute, minutes, nor can it live on the skin, on the hands, arms, or legs. Etiology. Caused by Neisseria gonorrhea, also known as gonococcus bacteria. Gonococci is a species um, of gram-negative diplococci bacteria. The infection is usually spread from one person to another through vaginal, oral, or anal sex. It may be able to spread it through the object contain, contaminated with body fluid from an infected person. Diagnosis. Clinical features. Burning during urination. Frequent urination. Yellowish vaginal discharge. Redness and swelling of the genitals and vaginal, uh, vaginal itching or burning, fever, pelvic cramping, abdominal pain, or pain with intercourse. This paranoia, yes? Investigations. Swerving the infected side, uh, rectum, throat, cervix, and finding the bacteria in the laboratory through culturing. Polymerase chain reaction through applications technique. Treatment. Two antibiotics, uh, ceftriaxone and other azithromycin. Uh, we will talk about treatment at the last of our lecture. Risk factors, sexual exposure to an infected partners without barrier protection, condom failure, multiple sex partners, history of um, concurrent or past sexual transmitted disease, low socioeconomic status, complications, pelvic inflammatory disease, long-term pelvic pain, ectopic pregnancy, infertility, inflammation of the joints and the tendons, tendons, skin lesions, meningi meningitis. Chlamydia. Chlamydia is also a bacterial infection which is very similar 
go to uh, gonorrhea in spread and the symptoms etiology. It is caused by chlamydia trachomatis, commonly known as chlamydia. It can also cause trachoma, a leaf, <coughs> a leaf of granuloma, venereum, a non-gonococcal uh, urethritis, cervicitis, halpingitis, pelvic inflammatory disease. Diagnosis, urine test, done in the laboratory for presence of this infection. Swap culture, chlamydia can be detected on material collected by swabbing the cervix during a traditional examination using a spectrum. Treatment. Treatment same as for gonorrhea and hysteria. The antibiotics are given multiple times for 5-10 days and the patient should be abstained from sex during the treatment. Risk factors for chlamydia trachomatis. Multiple sex partners. Inconsistence or incorrect condom use. Latex condom use helps prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections a history of chlamydia or other sexual transmitted infections, excessive alcohol or illegal drug use, men, homosexuality, sex, complications, pelvic inflammatory disease, epididymitis, prostate gland infections, infertility, ectopic pregnancy, vaginitis, syphilis. Syphilis is a sexual transmitted disease that has been around for uh, centuries and appears on the area of vulva etiology caused by a bacterial organisms called as spiraheads organisms which is known as trypanema pallido. The um, spirahead is a rhomb-like spiral shaped organism. It infected the person by bur um, burrowing into the most mucose covered lining of the mouth or genitals. The spiraheads produced a classic painless ulcer known as chancre. Stage and clinical features. There are three stages of syphilis alone within an inactive latent stage. First stage, formation of ulcer known as chancre developed with 10, 90 days after infection. It is not highly contagious when it is in ulcer form. Second stage, secondary syphilis. Appears that primary stage is not treated or not resolved in one. Its own develops in weeks to months and lasts for four to six weeks. Symptoms like a rush on palm and the feet may develop it with no itching. Hair loss, sore throat, fever and headaches are seen. White patches on nose, mouth and vagina are appeared. It is highly contagious in this condition, latent stage. Appears as secondary syphilis continues with no symptoms. It lasts for 20 years or more and develops into the tertiary stage. Diagnosis. It is based on an appearance of chancre, non -trip, uh, trypanomal tests, which are specific blood tests known as rapid plasminog Gen reagent tests. Three panel tests such as first uh, microhemagglutination assay for T pallidum, microhemagglutination, second fluorescent trypanemal antibody absorbed tests, second treatment. Depending on the stage of disease, Long-acting penicillin injections have been very effective in treating both earlier and late-stage syphilis. Treatment of neurosyphilis requires the fourth administration of penicillin. Other treatments include oral doxycycline or tetracycline. Uh, territory syphilis. Uh, territory syphilis is also a systematic stage, systemic stage of the disease, and it can cause a variety of problems. Uh, throughout the body, including abnormal mm, bulging of the large vessels leaving the heart, the aorta, resulting in the heart problems, the development of large nodules, gumas, in various organs of the body, infection of the brain, causing a stroke, mental confusion, meningitis, problems with the sensation or weakness, neurosyphilis, involvement of the eyes leading 
to cite deterioration involvement of the ears resulting in a deafness. The damage sustained by the body during the tertiary stage of syphilis is severe and it can even be fatal. Treatment. Primary, secondary, and earlier latent syphilis, first line, benzatine, penicillin, penicillin, uh, penicillin allergy, cap, doxycycline, uh, erythromycin, ceftriaxone. Children's a single intramuscular injection of benzatine penicillin, uh, 50,000 units kg up to 2.4 million units. Trichomonias, what, what is it? An infection caused by Trichomonias vaginalis, a microscopic single colloid organism that can be found, found in the urethra, the bladder, vagina, cervix, or under the foreskin. How is Trichomonias is transmitted? Through unprotected sexual activity, including mutual masturbation, and the sharing of the sex toys. Signs and the symptoms. About half of infected women show scenes of infection, including all white or yellowish green, fruity vaginal discharge, sore and itchy vagina, pain during intercourses or urination. Endometritis is an inflammation of the inner lining of the uterus or endometrium. Endometritis is different from endometriosis. Tortures, what conditions affect the lining of the uterus? Another related condition is called endometritis, where, where inflammation happens in the inner layer of the uterus called by called the myometrium. Causes, an infection of the uterine lining causes endometritis. The cervix, which is the opening to the uterus, usually keeps bacteria out of the uterus. However, when the cervix is open, such as during childbirth or surgery, bacteria can get into the womb. Birds, the bacteria normally found in the vagina, and abnormal bacteria can be the cause of endometritis. Possible risk factors, childbirth or miscarriage. These are the most common reasons for the uterus lining the become inflamed. Caesarean delivery. Uterus inflammation is more common after Caesarean sections and a vaginal delivery, sexually transmitted infections, and other bacteria. Bacteria in the uterus, bacteria normally found in the vagina, and the cervix can cause endometritis if they are found in the uterus. Pelvic procedures. Some surgical or medical procedures can let bacteria into the uterus. This is especially so when they are performed through the cervix of uterus, such as dilatation on the cutitash, or surgery involving the uterus, and the material biopsy, hysteroscopy, where a small telescope is inserted in the uterus to look for abnormalities, inserting and the intrauterine device, caesarean section, pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease or uh, PID we can, is an infection in the pelvis. It is often associated with or a causes of endometritis. PID can be serious if not treated and it requires quick medical attention and a possible stay in the hospital. What are the symptoms of endometritis? Abdominal swelling, abnormal vaginal bleeding, abnormal vaginal discharge, constipation, discomfort when having a bowel movement, fever, general feeling of sickness, pain in the pelvis, lower abdominal area or rectal area. Diagnosis, blood testing, a complete blood count <clears throat> can be used uh, to monitor for possible infection, assist inflammatory conditions, cervical culture. The doctor may take a swab from the cervix to look for chlamydia, gonorrhea, or other bacteria. Wet moan. Discharge from the cervix may be collected and looked at under a microscope. This can help to identify other causes of an infection or inflammation. And a material biopsy. This is a brave procedure for performance in the doctor's office where the cervix is dilated to allow a small instrument into the uterus. The instrument takes a small sample of the endometrial lining, which is sent to the laboratory for analysis. Laparoscopy or a hysteroscope. These surgical procedures 
allow the doctor to look directly at the uterus. Treatment. When doctors treat endometritis, they aim to remove the infection and the inflammation from the uterus. This may involve antibiotics. These are used to fight the bacteria causing the uterus lining inflammation. If the infected is very severe, a person may need intravenous antibiotics in the hospital. Further tests. Cervical cultures or endometrial biopsy to ensure that the infection is completely gone after finishing the course of antibiotics. If not, a different antibiotic may be needed. Removing tissue. If there is any tissue left in the uterus after childbirth or a miscarriage, the surgery on may need to remove it, treating and the abscesses. If an abscess forms in the abdomen from the infection, surgery or a needle aspiration will be needed to remove the infected fluid or pus. Complication, endometritis, if it is left untreated, may cause the following complications. Infertility, pelvic peritonitis, general pelvic infection, abscess in the pelvis or uterus, septicemia, bacteria in the bloodstream, septic shock. Okay, patient management tactics with acute pelvic inflammatory disease. Early diagnosis and the treatment is very important for the prevention of infertility. All patients should be screened for sexually transmitted infection, include, including human immunodeficient virus. Patient management tactics with acute. Antibiotic therapy should ensure the elimination of the widest possible range of pathogens. Chlamydia trachomatis, gonorrhea, genitalium, gram plus, gram negative, aerobic and anaerobic. The optimal choice is combined antibiotic therapy. It is described to use a similar number, smaller number of drugs at the same time with a large dosing interval and good tolerance. The drugs must create high concentrations in the, in the tissue of their reproductive organs. It is advisable to choose drugs that have both um, parenteral and oral forms of release. <clears throat> Features of antibiotic therapy. Patient with mild, uh, mild to moderate episode of pelvic inflammatory disease should be treated on an outpatient basis with oral medications. Treatment of severe forms should always begin with um, parenteral antibiotics and 24-48 hours after clinical improvement, a switch to oral administration possible. Recommendations for antibiotic treatment are uh, regimens for pelvic inflammatory disease as opposed to diagnosis vary from country to country. Optimal duration of treatment not established, but most clinical observations determine that its total duration should be 10, 14 days. <clears throat> For outpatient treatment, a second examination is indicated two, three days after the start of treatment. The lack of positive dynamics is an indication for hospitalization. Sex partners of patients with pelvic inflammatory disease who were in contact for 60 days prior to the onset of symptoms need evaluation and, if necessary, treatment. Indications for hospitalization. Recommendations. Inability to exclude acute surgical pathology. Pregnancy, lack of effects from oral therapy. Patients' um, inability to adhere to or tolerate an outpatient oral therapy regimen. Severe disease, nausea, vomiting, high fever, two bowel and abscess. Diagnostic, <clears throat> diagnostic uncertainty in ineffectiveness of oral treatment, serious condition, tuba and abscess, intolerance to oral treatment, pregnancy. Recommended therapy for pelvic inflammatory disease outpatient use ceftriaxone, ofloxacin, levofloxacin, ceftriaxone. Uh, drug number one, uh, preparation number two to three years, um, ceftriaxone. Doxycycline metronidazole. Here you see um, doses with doses antibiotics. Cephalosporins in pelvic inflammatory disease um, therapy. Single injections of cephalosporins, second, third, 
gen uh, fourth generation, optimal choice of cephalosporins and CNO. A cefa um, cefoxetin is more effective against anaerobic flora. Ceftriaxone has advantage in relation to nicotine gonorrhea. Uh, no published data record use oral cephalosporins for the treatment of patients with pelvic inflammatory disease. Doxycycline uh, contraindicated many uh, categories of patients include children, teenagers, pregnant, and uh, lactating women. Groups of resistance common pathogens of pelvic inflammatory disease, gonorrhea, enterobacteria, and uh, others. Doxycycline, you here see uh, 30 days after the end of treatment in 41% of cases it reported uh, therapeutic failures that CM use it due to incomplete eradication, mycoplasma genitalium. Mm -hmm. Here you see azithromycin, oflaxacin, ciprofloxacin, tetracycline, amoxacin. Atromycin is the most active antibacterial drugs against strain. Chlamydia trachomatis. Mm -hmm. Sex partner management tactics. Sex partners of patients should be screened for gonorrhea and a chlamydia infection. In the absence of the possibility of examining the partners, it is recommended to prescribe em empirical antibiotic therapy active against gonococci and the chlamydia. Ceftriaxone 250 milligrams, uh, single dose plus azithromycin or azithromycin one gram. Okay, uh, it's the last. I won't. I won't say you about um, prevention. How we can prevention uh, pelvic inflammatory disease. <clears throat> Uh, pelvic inflammatory disease or not always caused by sexual transmitted infection. Sometimes normal bacteria in vagina can travel up to reproductive organs and cause pelvic inflammatory disease, but um, can lower your risk of pelvic inflammatory disease by not touching. Uh, if you have no sex, lower your risk of getting a uh, sexual transmission infection with the following steps. Use condoms. Condoms are the best way to prevent um, sexual transmission infections when um, you have sex. Because a man does not need to equally to give or get uh, sexual transmission infections, make sure to put the condom on before the pennies to choose the vagina, uh, moles or anus. Uh, other methods of birth control, like birth control pills, shorts, implants, or uh, diaphragmas, uh, get tested. Be sure you and your uh, partners are tested for cervical um, transmission infections. Talk to each other about the test results before you have uh, sex. <clears throat> Be monogamous. Having sex with a child and partner can lower your risk for uh, sexual transmission infections. Um, limit your number of the sex partners. Do not douche. Douching removes some of the normal bacteria in the vagina that protect you from infections. Douching may also raise your risk for pelvic inflammatory disease by helping bacteria travel to other other areas like your uterus, ovaries, and the fallopian tubes. Do not abuse alcohol or drugs. Drinking too much alcohol or using drugs increasing risk behavior and may put you at risk of sexual assault and the possible exposure to sexual transmission infections. Okay, we finished our topics, pelvic inflammatory disease. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.